Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Jaguar Health Channel, committed to discovering, developing, and commercializing plant-based prescription medicines for urgent global health needs. We always have the pleasure to be joined by Lisa, the Chief Executive Officer. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. It's always nice to see a smiling face in these turbulent times. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to have you back on to get some insight, not only with some recent news, but the general markets as well. But we'll kind of fixate first and foremost, kind of zooming in here. You recently announced a publication of Oncozyne article underscoring the importance of controlling diarrhea and cancer patients, highly related to uh, some of the pharmaceuticals and studies that you guys are running. Give us some insights on what this means to you. Yeah, it was a third party article. It was written by Dr. Dr. Harden. And, uh, Remarkable. I mean, the rates of diarrhea that they're seeing, particularly with these new targeted theories, therapies, are 50 to 100 percent, with some therapies 100 percent. And, you know, the targeted therapies are basically being used for the rest of the life in metastatic cancers, but they're also being used for months and years, even in incurable cancers. And so the range of the impact is this is not your garden variety diarrhea where, you know, you have a bad night and then you, you move on. This is chronic. This is severe. It can put them in the hospital. So it's patient comfort, which is very important. It's because it's chronic. It's affecting their nutrition long term. Um, it can be so severe that when you're in a hospital, it's not only dehydration, but the electrolyte imbalance can lead to organ shutdown and cardiovascular impacts and 40% of the time, patients are going off of their life-saving cancer therapy, either by choice or by because of the side effect of diarrhea is just so severe, um, it, so that they're affecting the, out, the outcome of the cancer therapy on their cancer diagnosis, on their cancer treatment. And what's really interesting is that this is regardless of whether the patient is a human or a dog. So you're finding the same numbers. 40% of the time, dogs are having to go off of their life-saving therapy because of the side effect of diarrhea. And in the dog situation versus the human situation, the comfort is so much more highly recognized by the dog owner because they can't explain to the dog what's going on, just suck it up. Uh, they don't want to have their house messed up. But why should it be more important in a dog than a human comfort and being able to go on with your quality of life. That's the whole reason why you're going through the cancer therapy in the first place. So really, really important article for anybody, whether it's human or canine who's dealing with cancer therapy. Yeah, I really love uh, kind of just how mission-driven uh, your company is and just a lot of the biopharma and healthcare spaces. I think it kind of gives uh, more push, especially in times like this, these tumultuous times in the market. Do you want to just give a little bit of uh, anecdotes, opinions? What are your thoughts uh, as we kind of head forward here and just kind of anything that you could offer would be great? There was recently an article that was written by Peter Kaldinsky, who's really an expert on the, the biotech industry and really has a lot of thoughtful opinions on many things, including reimbursement and pricing and how do you get the pricing right for the pharmaceutical industry. <clears throat> um, but one of the lines in a recent article he wrote about the downturn here really resonated with me, which is when you have the cash to complete your programs, your stock price, your company valuation is an annoyance. So focus on the mission at hand. And we have two major events going on right now with the pipeline activity of Crofelomer. Crofelomer is our product, which is approved under the trade name Mitesi for people living with HIV, AIDS, and diarrhea in that situation. It's also conditionally approved under the name, brand name Canlevia for chemotherapy-induced diarrhea in dogs. It is in the final stages of a phase three clinical trial, which should complete enrollment in about a year for cancer therapy related diarrhea in humans. So what the article was talking about managing that symptom and how important it is. And also in Europe, in a company we established in Europe, Napothera, they have started on a program for short bowel syndrome patients. And we recently had a patient case study article that was published in, in short bowel syndrome as well. Very insightful today, Lisa. I appreciate these updates. I'm going to pass the question off to the viewer at this point. We'd love to know what you guys think about all this in that comment section below. Let us know your, how, how you're handling these tumultuous times. And of course, consider subscribing because as those catalysts and that news comes down the wire, we'll of course update you here. But on that note, stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.